Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jacob. In this video, I wanna bring you some very direct, some very uh, important, crystal clear advice around how to get whatever it is that you want. There's two steps to it. I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of people and this is something that a lot of people fall short in doing, right? These two steps, if you listen to this video, watch it again and again and again if you need to, will serve you very, very, very well today, tomorrow, next month, next year, in 10 years time, okay? The first thing you really, really need to do is get very, very good at asking the right questions, okay? Firstly, stop being scared to ask questions. And then two, when you do ask a question, make sure that it is crystal clear exactly what you're asking, exactly what your issue is, exactly what you need help with, and the advice that you are looking for. Shitty questions are gonna elicit a shitty response that does not help you. All it does is it wastes your time typing the question and it wastes the time of the person answering the question because they're not going to give you the advice that you are looking for because how can they if you've asked the question in a shitty, vague way that doesn't actually tell them what advice you are seeking. If you can master the ability to ask very clear, concise, pointed questions that will get you the answers that you need, you will significantly accelerate your progress in whatever it is that you are doing. If you write long-winded questions, if you ask long-winded questions that waste the time of the person reading them, especially if they're a busy person that you're trying to get help from, if you're not clear, if you're wishy-washy, if, if, if you know it craps all over the place, you're not going to get the answers that you need and it's going to leave both parties frustrated, okay? So be very, very deliberate when you ask questions about how you phrase them, about what you need to get from that answer, about what your problem is, and about what you are trying to achieve, okay? If you are crystal clear about that, then the answer that you will receive will be infinitely more valuable. It will also be significantly easier for the person reading the question who has to answer it to actually do that and to do it efficiently. As someone who has mentored a lot of people, I can tell you it is incredibly frustrating when you get long-winded questions where you're not really clear what the point is, you don't really know what people are asking, it's a complete brain dump, they've clearly not put any time into it, they've not been resourceful, they've not thought out what am I actually asking and what do I need help with. Right? Ask better questions, you'll get better answers that will massively accelerate your results. That is step number one. Step number two is when you get that answer, right? let's assume you master the ability to ask the right questions. Let's assume you get the answer that you need. Actually listen to the advice that you receive. This sounds incredibly simple, but it is a massive, massive problem. People ask advice and then something happens. Their ego gets in the way, they don't like the answer, they thought they were gonna to be told something else that they would have preferred to hear, the answer involves too much work, too much time, I'd rather do other things, I don't wanna do that. Take the advice on board and then do the work required in order to get the result. Otherwise, what is the point in getting coaching? What is the point in taking on mentorship? If you only ask questions in order to get the response that you want and you're only gonna act on answers that you like, there's no point. Because in a lot of cases, the answer that you receive may not be what you wanna hear, all right? It might require more work. It might require some brutal honesty. It might require you to reflect on yourself. It might require you to change who you are or what you're doing if you really wanna make something happen. So if you are taking on coaching, taking on mentorship, and you manage to ask the right questions, you put time and effort into asking those questions and, and someone else puts time and effort into answering those questions, take the advice on and follow the steps. 
if you're working with the right person, then they've been where you probably are at the moment and they have the results that you are looking to get. So if you ask the question and they give you advice, take it on board, swallow the pride, swallow the ego and do the work. Okay, very simply, if you can achieve those two things, asking the right questions of the right people in a very clear, very concise way, that's gonna get you the best possible answers and the best possible advice. If you take that information and you act on it, and you act on it consistently, and you troubleshoot, you get more feedback, you ask more questions, and you create an open dialogue in that way with your mentors and coaches, that will allow you to achieve whatever it is that you wanna achieve. Your mentors will come and go over time, your goals will change, what you're doing will change, but whatever it is you're pushing to achieve, whatever it is you're striving to achieve, those two things, asking the right questions to get advice that's actually going to help you, and then acting on that advice and not just ignoring it because it wasn't what you wanted to hear or ignoring it because it's hard work or ignoring it because you want to do something else and reinvent the wheel, if you can master those two things, you'll be able to achieve whatever it is that you want. Okay, take that advice on. It'll really help you out. Subscribe to the channel. Talk to you all soon.